six by six, we're looking at educational assistance. How do you recognize a self-reg EA? And some of the things I've noticed over my time in schools, one, self-reg EAs, they know the difference between self-regulation and self-control. Self-control is blue brain, so it's prefrontal cortex, it's you should manage yourself, all of those sorts of things, they should have known better. Uh, Self-regulation is about, is, is about blue brain, red brain balance, it's whole body as well, and it's about the underlying mechanisms that make self-control possible. They know the difference between stress behavior and misbehavior. Number two, they understand the importance of their role. It is not just a job to be an EA, it is a profession and you contribute and make a huge difference to the well-being of children. You understand that you're not there to regulate a child. So you're not there to manage a child. You're also not there to, to regulate a child. To regulate a child meaning their energy and tension. You're scaffold. It's a temporary thing. It's an odd position because you're really trying to move yourself away from it. You do not want somebody attached to your arm. You want to be that extra little support, that extra little nudge up that makes the inclusive experience of all children possible. You recognize that it's within relationships and that your support, not your management, is, is what helps children move along the, the, the continuum of learning self-regulation. You're a stress, stress detective. You are constantly trying to figure out what's going on. What do I not understand? Not just the obvious stressors that you may already know, it's those hidden stressors, the little ones. What are the little ones that I can identify and reduce to make, to make it possible for more thriving? Number four, you collaborate with, with your teaching partner, with your team. So it's, if you have cognitive dissonance, which just means that you, are, you see something different than how your teaching partner does or how your school's suggesting, that you have the, the conversation around it. Oftentimes, we self-regers who are EAs um, will, will be really trying to address what their beliefs were and what this new thing is they're learning and how it applies. We can tend to think it's really how we were taught or how it should be done and be missing opportunities. So they're all, always trying to figure out that way. That leads into the next one, which is learning. You are curious about learning self-reg and make no doubt about it. We have self-reg EAs that have led the way for the school. It doesn't always come through the leader. It doesn't always come through a teacher. There are ed educational assistants who have done that. So you're learning not how to regulate a child, but how to facilitate the learning for children along that self-regulation continuum. The relationship 360, that you know that what you do is build relationships. You build relationship with children. You build relationship with educators. You build relationships with colleagues, especially the ones that don't see it the way you do. You build relationships with supports. You build relationships with everyone. And that that's a key, key piece of the work that you're doing.